Yo. Yo, 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 it's your boy, Chaotic BPR. In 20 minutes, in just a minute, is half a dozen, but I wanted to say welcome, everybody, to Yo Retro, all my hard at home arcade enthusiasts, retro game collectors alike. Welcome to the show. Good to see y'all. Let me bring in my co-host right quick. Half a dozen. What's going on, my man? What up, bro? What up, YouTube? What's going on, home arcade homies? Let's 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 be happy real quick, real quick. <laughs> Tomorrow is a very very special day. Me and you've been waiting for, buddy. Yeah, that's that's where I got a big old Kool Aid smile on my face, bro. Because <laughs> we've been waiting for this moment so long, bro, since our first show. Well, so. yeah, that before then too. Like December twelfth yeah. is basically the day, or at least the day I ordered my uh, Attack from Mars four KP. Um, I think yours was what the day before, maybe uh december 15th 15th okay right, there you go. Right, i thought that's right when they went live yeah yeah 15th you're right it is 15th i ordered mine yeah. on the 17th that's right got my days yeah. mixed up but it's here man tomorrow tomorrow's the day dude i'm super excited um yeah, it feels it feels feel like it's been a lifetime <laughs> you know because but but at the same time like what for me like what i'm remembering is wanting to see it at the Cleveland Gaming Classic, it wasn't there. And then, you know, but still like wanting to buy one since then. So it's been like a six month journey for real. Yeah. Yeah. And uh hey man, we, we're at the envy of a lot of people in the community because we got that attack from Mars coming. A lot of people said, damn, that bitch looks good on Facebook. So a lot of people that do have the with that without the SSF kit, but I'm glad we got the full package coming, man. We're really excited about it. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> like Lex Luger, man, a total package. Well, I want to say everybody, hello in chat, real quick. We got Jason, Little Alien, Ralphie, my good man. Good to always see you, Toxin, man. You're here. That's what's up, buddy. Yeah, my dog. Appreciate it, man. Game of Game for days. Good to see you, buddy. Biggie D. Good to see you, my man. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. Dude. Good to see you guys. So thank you all for coming That's early and everything. Summer. Everybody else that wants to shout out, man, hit it up in the chat. There we go. Phil. Phil the man. Yeah. Peter said walk and talk. Let's go. What up, though? Here we go. We got some more people. We got Goofy Foot. <laughs> Penny K. That's out. That's good, man. Good to see everybody. Thank you all so much for coming, man. Episode 13. Lucky number 13. Yeah. All right, man. So first, we got to talk about one good thing real quick, right? We got to talk about some news and everything that's going on, especially this week. Uh, very exciting week. I'm, I'm flabbergasted at everything that's going on and everything. But let's cover up some news, man. Right now, we got RK1 up. Finally woke up a little bit after the X-Men 97 announcement, you know, rehash of the cabinet. Now they got another, you know. Rehash. Rehash. But hey. <laughs> But hey, I'll give it to him, man. Uh, the first Golden Tee came out what back in what 2018, something like that. Yeah. And, and then the one after that, you got they went straight up to XL, right? Yeah, they went the, the 3D. Yeah, the XL. 3D. So we're taking that 3D XL with the crap ass monitor, and we're gonna do it in the deluxe size. Back down to three four scale but now with a boe monitor and the uh, mm -hmm. deluxe form factor and everything so basically we got the same games list as the 3d deluxe or say 3d xl and uh, everything like that hopefully there's a lot of people who are hoping hoping that the trackball is going to be go back to normal or better i think they um, got rid of uh, the games that's a little different they got rid of shuffle shot which i think was on the 3d xl but uh they so just they got put, world what they put yeah. the original golden tee back on there, yeah, and took yeah. off. Shuffle, shuffle shuffle shot. Shot. Oh, that's um, that's that's unfortunate, yeah. But uh, this uh, whatever, if you want it, 
it's <laughs> you could pre-order it at Best Buy. I mean, if you don't have a Golden Sea, this is a good option. You know, the deluxe form factor. I feel is their, you know, it's their new go-to. It's, it's. I feel like it's the answer between XL and uh, the three-quarter scale originals they were doing. It's kind of like right in between, you know. Yeah, and and the good news is like there's not a lot of people that are crapping on this at all. There's a lot of people who are like they're actually excited about this. Well, Golden um, Tee was a good cab, so you know what I mean. Most people I've, don't have nothing bad to say about Golden Tee. I've never played or you know seen one, so. I mean, I have nothing bad about to say it. Um, I'm interested in it. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad the actual price starting out is four ninety nine. Uh, pre order at Best Buy, uh, and not that Wayfair price uh, when it first leaked out and everything. So, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, are you or Unc interested in it? Uh, I haven't really spoke to him about it. I don't think he'll get it though. He's. Ain't, I mean, he he ain't even the type to do a lot of mods from what i gather so mm-hmm. you know for him he's kind of as long as it's working he's cool he's cool with uh his og oh OG. he has the og yeah yeah i played it at i played it at his house a couple times yeah that's a good cab and you know the og one so if this one is built anything like the og one it should be a solid cab i wish i lived close to somebody that actually had one i'd like to play it just to get my thoughts on it man it's one of those things where I would like to try it before I buy it kind of deal. At least get some promo yeah. for it. It, it. It's fun, but, you know, it's just a time-consuming game. you got to play all 18 holes, you know, and if you play two players, you know, it takes a while. If you play three Double players, time. it takes, yeah, that much longer. Four players all the way down the line, you know, so. Um, I'm, like, the game I'm mostly interested on it, in, it, in it would be the bowling game. Um, I heard it's a really, really good, good game, arcade yeah. style. World that's balling. It's, it's a fun balling game. Yeah. So I don't know. I'll, I'll wait to see some reviews and then see if I get hit with some FOMO for it, uh, or maybe wait till uh, you know, being that it's best at Best Buy pre-order, other retailers will probably pick it up as well, and you can look for like Black Friday time for it to drop down to three ninety nine or you know something like that, maybe even three forty nine, and it might be worth picking up at that point. Right, um, right, right. Quick questions, because I just had a question just cross my head, um, cross my mind. Um, is there any caps? I know you're shot for room, and so am I. But <laughs> is there any caps that you don't have that are out there that you would like, th- that you maybe would think about getting um, if the price was right, like if you had a good sale on it? Not right now. There, there's not any arcade one-up offerings. I would take a cab I got out of my space now to replace with right now. Not even uh, maybe a second Fast and the Furious, so you can link them up. Maybe, <laughs> but no, nah, no, nah, probably not. Because the only o- only way I do that would be to reskin the whole cab as Tokyo Drift, and you, we already discussed Ooh. that. I don't, I don't want to do a reskin. You know, uh, so. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Skinning so, that pin, that that control panel was enough for me. Yeah, yeah, um, and I. Uh, when I get done editing my NHL Open Ice video for everybody and post that, y'all see the freaking nightmare I went through on trying to reskin an entire cabinet. It is, it's, it is a nightmare. Uh, even, even people like Toxin, they were like, I, I would never want to do this again. So yeah, I, I feel mean, like if you're one of them guys that could like wrap a car, it'd be no problem to you, you know. <laughs> but Bro, a guy like me, bro, I lo- I start sweating. It makes a mess. I, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, L- lose my mind, bro. So real quick, with the news of Golden Tea 3D Deluxe being dropped today, some more news dropped about Golden Tea. When you won, son. When you yeah. won. When you won, guys. And this is what I'm talking about. This is that smearing off smash tea golden tea yeah so not only can you you know win one of these you can get smashed in the process smearing <laughs> off you know rk one up doing it big you know but 
it's wild. If you look at the marquee on this, it's just a bunch of the cans. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, I, I was trying to zoom in on like, uh, some of these community posts that that been posted on it, and then I also I also entered in the contest. It's, of course, it's terrible quality the image they put out, but uh, yeah, yeah, and even I think the J panel lights up on this one, or it at least looks like it does. It, it looks, looks like, like the same does. as the marquee, you know. <laughs> what I assume is the J panel because this looks like the new deluxe form factor. <laughs> I have to say, Ralphie, yes, yeah, F and ugly. So it's one of those kind of cabs where the more you drink, the prettier it gets. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I seen it in a bar, I wouldn't be tripping, you know, like it, cool, you know, like I, I could see this in a bar, you know. If it's some kind of smearing off promo stuff, but you know, hey, it's free, man. You, you, yeah. all you, it, no purchase necessary. There's a link in uh, my description. I put a link. All you got to do is click the link, enter your birthday. You do have to be 21 or older to, yeah, because it's a smearing it does, off promo. It does ask you that. So, yeah. So if, if you're 21 or older, you can enter in this contest. And it's just a free giveaway. They're giving away a hundred of these, so you know. Oh, it's a hundred of them. I thought it was one. Yeah, it says I. Well, I said no. Nah, I said a, a hundred winners. You know, and uh, there was a little asterisk that somebody pointed out on Facebook that said something about you know, uh, like prize may vary, but then right before that it says something about the image you know the, the image, final image. the final product may yeah and i think i think it's too. just it's just saying like the prototype imagery you're seeing you know like for instance they might change the marquee to say smirnoff who knows you know yeah it's still interesting though man like to, to for a hundred of them i mean that'd be great if somebody in the community actually wins one oh, and, yes. and is able to show it on youtube that'd be kind of cool so Guys, yeah. if y'all hadn't entered, man, make sure y'all go into the description of uh, half a dozen's uh, stream and click on that link, enter it if you haven't. Um, there's also plenty of community posts out there as well. Yeah, or you could just entered. Google uh, Smirnoff Golden Tea or Smirnoff RK 1UP and you'll see a whole bunch of uh, posts about it. You know, it's pretty much it, it was like the news of the day out there. So what is other people in the chat? How do y'all feel about it, man? I just want to get some of y'all. I want to catch up on chat and everything. Um, I had so <laughs> somebody on the community post say, well, you know, what is this company becoming? <laughs> right. <laughs> the Oreos, the this, you know. Uh, Game, Game Fritz says he'd like to see Mario Golf on it. Uh, that'd be kind of cool with a trackball, man. Um, Vader says Golden Tea, in my opinion. Just an awesome game. Um, good evening, programs. Good to see all y'all, man. I'm so glad there's so many people here. Thank y'all for watching us and everything. Rich Odella, what's going on? Good man. Good to see you. Bad guy, Mike Worley, our uh, Super Bowl champion. The bad guy. Marine 50, goofy foot. Mike Hawk Hurts, one of my favorite people in the community, man. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> Bro, that right, here man. We go. If I won, I would replace the marquee with the text. It's good. But it's no Neo Turf Masters. Damn right. Oh, buddy. he's got a point though. <laughs> he, he he low key got a point, bro. That's why Mike Mike Hawkhurst is one of my favorite people in this community. And look, uh, he got the great Neo comment. Geo avatar and everything. Damn great. Coming in swinging for Neo Geo. <laughs> Y'all heard her doing a, a Happy Gilmore too. Yeah, great. yeah, yeah. A oh, man. I'm Dude, I want a Shooter McGavin shirt so bad. It says, uh, I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. <laughs> I yeah. want that shirt, dude. I want that on a shirt. I yeah, might see I'm if this friend can do it. I'm, I'm hoping they, they can make a good movie on it. You know, Carl Weathers passed away. Rest in peace. So, yeah. You know, a lot well, of people. Come he died back. in the movie. So, in the first movie. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> too early, too. It's too soon. Yeah, Game of Fridge. Maybe you can win this too. Yeah. So if for y'all that don't know on uh Rascals uh 1000 uh sub giveaway a thon that they had, uh my boy Game of Fridge won uh Bobby Boo's KI KI one. Damn. Yeah. 
So congratulations. He that, so he got that KI one uh, on the way to him. That's what's up, man. Congrats. Uh, Vader says, I'm curious to see how much room is between the trackball and monitor. Yeah, so that's a good question. You know? If it's close, I don't know, man. You know, you know what's dope about the OG one is you know, there, there's enough space between the trackball and the monitor, but some some say there isn't. So the people who say there isn't, you know, you could always get a 99 lives arcade, you know, uh, control deck and you you get hella space for his deck. So it, look, how many, it looks how like many, the arcade one. How many people in chat when they when they roll the trackball on say golden T, like I always seen it like at bars when people were doing bowling um, or they're doing like a golden T type game, they take their fingers, sorry, like in a field goal position. That's what Hunk does. Or or a triangle, diamond, whatever. And then bam, push as hard as they can. Hit, hitting their uh, fingers does. in that monitor. Yeah. <laughs> uh retro lizard Joel, man. It's good to see you, buddy, man. Oh, anybody and uh look at his Facebook. Get that man to 500 followers, man, on, on his uh, Facebook store. Everybody knows in the community that he does fantastic work anyway. But get that, right. get his new Facebook store to 500 likes. The man's going to do a giveaway on a Nintendo Switch OLED. So everybody that likes to do it and everything. So, so I mean, everybody in the community, there's so many people in the community. Everybody can get him to easily to 500 followers. Easy. So get on Facebook. Go to uh Retro Lizard store has that new logo. Hit follow. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, facts. Do it. Do it right now. Yeah. Pop up with another window. <laughs> yeah. So Vader says he does a double thumb, right? So like that. Or that's what I'm like saying. That. Like everybody got a different style. The first one you said, um, that's what my aunt does. Um, I was like, bro, he's doing the crazy curve shots, and I'm like, what are you? He was kicking my <laughs> ass, bro. And then Jason said, we're going to see a Happy Gilmore collab cab. I would love to see that. Put, you see put that? I that'd eat be... shit like you for breakfast on the side of the cab. That'd be great. <laughs> that, that might make sense. You know what I mean? Something like that. All right. So just an update. Joel's at uh, 333 followers. Damn, he sounds like my, my channel with my subscribers. Um, get that man to 500. He's almost there. Get me to 500. I'm almost there. <laughs> Oh, anything else you want to add on to this golden tea? Uh, just some smearing off. Just some smear off to add to it. <laughs> yep, that's it. All right. So on to that game news real quick, guys. And there's actually a lot of cool stuff that they added to it. Uh, finally, sorry. Finally, we're getting that renovation Legends HD game packs. There's a caveat to it. They're dropping some games off of it, like Ballast 2, Ballast 3, Cosmic Fantasy 2, Last Alert, and Exile Wicked Phenomenon. Um, those are coming off. Obviously, it's for licensing issue or something like that. But to help those people who pre-ordered this, like, Jesus, over a year ago, it seems like, um, giving everybody a $10 uh, e-store gift, uh, gift card to their inbox uh, for each game pack that they pre-ordered um uh kind of sucks man that uh because valis the valis series is such a good good series of games uh have you ever played any of them uh briefly you know not not like uh all the way through but i know they're highly regarded among rpg you know fans and so yeah um, and I heard Michael B talk about like Exile and Last Alert being uh considered huge games as well. I never played those, I only played the Valor series, which I really enjoyed. Um, you played all three of them, is it? It's only three, right? Yeah, I played well, I played one and two, I never played three. Okay, um, that's what I love about these em emulation handhelds, I can actually play stuff like that. Um. Yeah, it sucks that uh that that yeah, kind of I, has to happen. I wasn't too privy to the whole renovation uh HD game pack, you know, and all that stuff. I'm just getting familiar with it now, starting to keep up with games. Uh, 
based off buying a 4K pinball, you know. So a lot of this stuff's new to me. I didn't even know they were losing some content. So that's unfortunate for sure. Yeah, and um, you know, and it, me, me and you both, we never owned like an app games. Like I don't own a Legends HD or even the Legends pinball. Um, so for the people that do though, this 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 sucks. I hate that for you guys. Um, I don't I don't even really think ten dollar the ten dollar <laughs> gift card is going to help towards anything else. <laughs> Got uh, a virtual it, high five. Now you yeah, know how I, mean, I feel to be a RK one of. Uh, <laughs> so like what about the people who have bought every single pinball table there is for the hd uh it doesn't seem like they're bringing out any more content for it like they promised so they will i mean they at, I the, so. at the at the bare minimum i think they they gotta keep their word on their rare pack but we'll yeah. see at least treat it like you know treat it like keep it keep it in the flow of your products right your product line you have your HD, you have your 4K products, you have the different line of products. Keep that alive, man. There's a lot of people that still want to hold on to that. They don't want to necessarily have to upgrade. Well, I think uh, if you look at successful business models from like consoles, you know, if you look at Sony, they tend to have like a, a seven year lifespan, you know, uh, as far as releasing content for their old generation console. And then like a ten a ten year uh, shelf lifespan for each console almost. So, is it, is, you know, probably I'm, or maybe seven seven to ten years based. You know, but they stop manufacturing them about seven years. You know, so it'd be nice to see games take that kind of approach to their HD products, to their four K products, moving on to eight K or whatever's in the future. You know, yeah. Um, real real quick, Joel threw this out. I forgot to mention it. Um, if y'all get his Facebook store uh, to a thousand followers, he's going to also toss in a uh, Tears of the Kingdom collector's edition sealed. So that's fire. That's super awesome, man. So giveaways um, everywhere. You're getting stuff yeah. from Smirnoff. You're getting stuff from Retro Lizard. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's uh, feeling generous. Hurts. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Mike Huck Hurt says most of those tiles were on the Evercade cartridge when they were probably uh, where they probably played better for one. Um, one of these home arcade companies should work with Blaze and have an Evercade card. Oh my God, that's a great idea to be able to use uh, Evercade card slots on an arcade cabinet. That'd be dope. Um, well, Inter was what was that company Intertech or whatever that did the uh deck for Switch and Sega Genesis yeah. and Nintendo for the Model One Gen One uh arcade uh arcade one up cabinets? Yeah, they need to like do stuff, they need to branch out and do more and work with Evercade. That'd be dope because a lot of those are arcade ROMs, man. So I would love to have that. Um, Jake says, uh, Evercade has Valus one and three, uh, at games has Valus one and four. So there is four, right? Four Valuses. I didn't know, I thought there was three. <clears throat> That's why I asked because I, I wasn't sure. I, I thought they did like one more after the trilogy. And then Mike also says, I, I got roughed over by at games originally by buying the standard definition tables for the core then buying the hd tables for the core max before they made them universal so i paid twice for most of their non-zen tables yeah bastards <laughs> yeah intech that's it intech i want to say intertech god uh, i thought you say intech but yes yeah, the intech deck okay um mike also says i put in i i have put my evercade into a modded rk one up before but it would be nice to have it as a stock feature damn right sit of ballast yes okay i saw that one before too so um that's the yeah the cartoonish one like the what was that, what's that word the japanese word uh that we call stuff that's cute like cutesy Anime. Something like that um chibo chibo i don't know how you say it but yeah that's basically um what they did um it's the sega genesis mega, mega drive version of balance 2 
uh, made it super deformed for chibi. That's it. Chibi is the word I'm thinking. Chibi. Of. That's the one. I was close. Give me give me credit. Y'all give me props. <laughs> <laughs> I've always said the RK One Up should have made one cab that you're able to download games to the PCB yeah. or stream the game from a library. And honestly, I think that's one direction that they're thinking about going. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, man, I think that that will have to be like a license kind of thing. Like, you know, you get a Pac-Man cab, you get Namco games. Yeah. You know, you get, you get a Capcom cab, you can get Capcom games on it, Konami. There ain't no way they're going to cross all those. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I'm finally finally this thing's coming out, but it's unfortunate that you're losing some uh, good quality games. Um more uh uh, 4K, uh, 4KP news. Uh, so, At Games had that uh, contest. Well, if you, I think on our last on our on our last show, we this was like the the mystery thing, right? Yes. So, yeah, uh -huh. the mystery encoder <clears throat> or decoder uh, message that they did. Yeah, and I was like, I, I got a feeling it'd be just like a tournament, and I, I speculated it'd be like Doctor Seuss, but instead, it's a friends based one. You know, and uh, but but there is some cool little releases along this uh season one tournament list. I think they're dropping some new tables too, you know, along the way, which is cool, yeah. Um, and then also for me, it kind of has a little bit of a roadmap that their other roadmap didn't tell you, like uh, when yeah, uh, yeah. Mars is being released for everybody, as well as Twilight Zone and and the Godzilla tables and uh what else there was something else um star trek new gener uh next generation when those mm -hmm. are all dropping so week one uh gonna start off with the uh zen non-zen and pinball net pinball net i think means basically any table right really because i mean not everybody's gonna be using pinball net um especially since it's not even available yet it's supposed to be available. I think, I think that's the official launch is that date, right? The what the 15th or 17th, something like that, right? Where wherever that's listed, I think that's the that's the launch date. Yeah. Okay. So anybody's gonna be able to get to play these in the tournaments and everything, especially if you got pinball net as well as the Zen tables. But um week one, you got your uh Star Trek Kelvin uh timeline, which one one quick thing. With the Attack from Mars as well as the uh, Star Trek tables coming up uh, have been released and they're out in the wild and people on Facebook are posting pictures. I'm actually really impressed with that Star Trek table. Yeah, it looks really that, good. That topper is fire. The the artwork colors and everything on the back glass, that looks good. I don't really care for, you know, the new style of Star Trek actors and everything being posted all over it, but I do like the theming. I like the way that cabinet looks. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it doesn't. It's, uh, I'm not. I'm not a fan of the series, and to be honest, but I think it looks like a great cabinet if you are a fan of that series. You know. Yeah. So we'll just talk about week one, and then uh, next week we can talk about the second week because obviously we're going to be here and everything. Um, uh, on Sunday, we're doing a, doing a new show every week. So uh, this week we got, or this next week coming up, we got the Star Trek pinball, the Kelvin timeline, Space Invaders, as well as Black Hole. So we might we're going to be able to we might be able to jump in maybe not maybe not that tournament but the next one. For sure, yeah. Uh, I mean, you personally, so yeah. I'm excited about that. Not get my hopes up too soon. I, hopefully, I just want to complete my order tomorrow. <laughs> I'm super excited about that. SSF kit installed. Just yeah. let me complete that order, right, games. <laughs> yeah, please, man, let it happen. Like y'all been saying, it's been going to be the 15th for the longest time. Like that's been on that timeline, the 15th of April. It's finally here. Let's make sure y'all keep y'all's word, man. Tomorrow when I wake up or sometime in the later in the afternoon, let me get that email. So yeah, that's the Flipper Friends tournament. So super excited to be able to enjoy that. Uh, 
to jump on that and everything uh, when we do get our machines, but everybody else, what kind of prizes do you think they're doing? Like they what, are they, kind of well, or what are the drop dates they put on there that they didn't put on the uh, calendar pro mat? They got attack from Mars coming out. What the, uh, oh, sorry. Um, that will be May 8th. Yeah, May 8th, just so the people who own the other cabinets know they could buy Attack from Mars on May 8th, which is, you know, it's cool. I, I, I like, there's people going back and forth about the exclusivity window that they're giving Attack from Mars online. Yeah. You know, because some, some people feel like, well, you know, nobody had to wait for Snoopy Pinball or nobody had to wait for, you know, the other ones. Dino, but, Dino, Dino Dynasty. Yeah, so... But I, I feel like this is a special case scenario, man. Attack from Mars, you look on anybody's top 10 pinball list, it's usually on that top 10. Yeah. I mean, it, it's the way it works out, I mean, with Adam's Family being the first one to come out, of course, that was exclusive because nobody else had that. And that wasn't a collector's edition. Yeah, this is... Uh, and then Snoopy was... Is that a collector's edition? Yes. Okay. Snoopy happened to just drop pretty quickly anyway. So that was that wasn't as is that that's not even a Zen table, is it? Yeah. It is? Yeah. My bad, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Snoopy, uh Pinball and uh Star Trek and as Attack for Mars are all part of the collector's edition. I gotcha. My bad. I'm I've I've gone blind, man, when it comes to what's going on. I just want to <laughs> You're good, bro. It's a lot to keep up with for real. It, it really is. Um, so exclusivity kind of crap. I mean, look, it's gonna drop for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. I've been waiting this long. At least I'm gonna be able to play it, man. <laughs> oh, so moving on. With the Attack from Mars release, um, and this goes the same for Star Trek, basically, is that they uh, talked about what's on the table um, and then like the pre-installed library that when you first open this up, you're going to have to do a day one update um, and update to the latest version. Um, and then on the later down at the very bottom, talks about all that cool stuff and everything but then it tells you hey guys just to let you know there is going to be some issues when you first start this up um there's there is going to be noticeable flipper lag it's a lot better than it has been uh, especially when adam's family first came out but it's kind of like to me when i was watching videos it's very similar to what the flipper lag and everything is what adam's family is at right now which is yeah. there is a slight delay. It's there. It's noticeable, but it's not nearly as bad as it was when Adam's family first came out. Uh, I, I've heard a lot of people say you just shut off the uh, high scores and the ball trails, you know, the special effects and stuff like that, that basically, you know, it runs pretty smooth. You know, there's very little noticeable lag, but they definitely need to cut it out, you know, and, and get to get, to, get this, uh, this show on the road because, you know what you know and that might be another reason why they haven't announced the next uh line of cabs because they i think they really need to iron out the software side of things right now yeah yeah um stop with the pre pre-order timeline order as soon as they become available because this gives them time to focus on that and not have to worry about new releases what what pre you know pre-installed tables come on it and all that kind of stuff just go ahead fix your software and then everybody gets to enjoy it. Then announce new tables, new designs, and everything like that. Let everybody enjoy it. Um, so yeah, there is some noticeable flipper lag still. It's of course being worked on. It will be fixed. Um, I also say uh, the plunger doesn't work on this cabinet or on this table in particular, and that it'll be released in a future patch. So basically, you got to launch the ball, pressing the start button on this cab. Which, which you, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what I was gonna say, which sucks, but in the real attack from Mars, there was no plunger button. It was a button. I mean, yeah, there was, it was no a launch button. button. It was an actual launch button. 
So hitting the start button to me doesn't really bother me too much anyway. Um, knowing from experience with my RK one up attack from Mars in order to do the uh, skill shot, you had to hold the left flipper in and you couldn't use the plunger. You had to hit the launch button underneath on that, on this actual uh, RK one up table in order to do the skill shot. Um, like it wouldn't work with the plunger at all. So I'm used to hitting the button, hitting the button instead of using the plunger anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. it's not a, it's not a big deal on this table because of that that reason in particular. But you know, people, kids, certain people who aren't familiar with Attack from Mars like we are, who are just playing the table, are going to want to just use that functionality and think it's broke. You know, the first time they can't use it, so yeah. they need to fi- they need to fix that too. Yeah, yeah, for for real, for sure. I mean, um, functionality is functionality; it needs to be functional. Yes, you're absolutely, you're absolutely right, by all means. Um, now, the slight flipper audio echo is heard in the back box. I've seen that on a bunch of uh, known issues for a lot of uh, a lot of the t- uh, like all the tables, basically all the Zen tables. I've never noticed it in the videos uh, watching people play. Yeah, I never noticed it uh, with my first impressions. You know, or anytime I played. Uh, at Unk's house, I never noticed that, but some it might be a you know an issue that certain people are only having, you know, a small portion of the community. Yeah. Um I'm not totally sure about that gamer fridge. I'm not totally sure. It says I think you can only play with pinball net. I mean it kind of makes sense if that is true. I just don't know if that's actually true. Um, because 4KP, everybody's got their they're going to be able to redeem their two months, three months free of pinball net. So um, if, it, if you can only do it with pinball net, by all means, do it with pinball net. But I uh, still think contests will work either way. Um, I said that before that I think this is bold, given that a few tables aren't out till next month and they locked into a tournament time slot. Hope they know f- further lag reduction is solid. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, but I think uh, as far as lag reduction, that's a that's a developer issue. That's something Zen has to deal with more so than at games. Yeah, you know, at games can do these. If that's what he was saying, can do these contests and stuff. Is I don't feel like it's going to take away from prioritizing reducing flipper leg reading the comments here good to see you stop jock mg my good friends from uh arcades anonymous group y'all messing with stop jock so much y'all be nice to him that's my boy Mercy wars they wouldn't do it if they didn't love them exactly Pause. you're right <laughs> did you just hit I, 200 subs bro i guess so that's what's up congratulations we appreciate you <laughs> well so that's that's pretty much news on uh the attack from mars man uh i don't care really i mean i, I just want to play i just want to play yeah, yeah, but it's, it's it's nice to know that they, you know, they address the known issues. Yeah, you know, and they no say that they say that they're working on them, and they will be released in a future patch. So, no, no sense in crying about these issues. We know they're there; they'll be addressed. Yeah. Um, I do want to say that it's unfortunate what's going on this weekend, especially with all these uh, deliveries coming in is that their cloud servers are down and they've been down all weekend so yeah. anybody that set up their tables their new their new they got their deliveries in on friday from friday to today so far the, the entire system's down you can't do any firmware upgrades or updates you can't you can't you basically cannot play your table that's supposed to be pre-installed your special collector's edition table I think yeah. you could play you could play all the installed tables, I'm pretty sure. But maybe I'm wrong. 
just long as you don't take it online. But uh, I could I could be wrong. Maybe maybe you got to automatically do an update for you to do anything on the cab. I know I know when I seen that news, I was like, man, because I know our attack from Mars orders right around the corner. So I was like, if that if that would have happened when we got ours, I'd I'd have been pretty upset. So yeah, hopefully they remedy that quick too. Yeah, for real. Um, I mean, throw throw them. I wish, I wish you could throw them like ten dollar gift card, something like that, for the inconvenience, especially especially for all weekend. You can't you can't enjoy it. Um, because there's a lot of people that's been upset. Uh, Carl oh, said yeah. that mine's been logged in fine. Must be new owners connecting for firmware. Yeah, it's like that initial software that you do on day one when you first do it. It will not connect. It just won't. It it just gives you an error. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Biggie D uh, servers still down. Uh, apparently, they work with a third party company that just doesn't work on weekends. <laughs> that's what it seems like. At least that's what people are saying on Facebook. They're like, <laughs> "This must wild. be a company. It must be a company that doesn't work on weekends." That's wild. But yeah, it won't do the updates. That's uh, tell me it ain't true. Tell me it ain't true at games. Tell me it ain't true. <laughs> Oh, so the app the App Store X is down on ALU. So there you go. Mm. That's unfortunate as hell. All eyes on y'all. Figure it out. Yep. Oh, and of course, Carlos works. Um, so that's it for the App Games news. Uh, I saw this a couple months ago, actually, when they first announced it. Um, well, I think they announced the Mega Drive one a couple months ago. I'm pretty sure that. Genesis one might be a newer release, but I could be wrong. I I I I think they did the Mega Drive, but they said Sega Genesis was coming coming later. Yeah, but right. yeah, you're right. Um, this screams retro number one. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. You got, two, you got ret- two, retro it is, on it your wrist. Um, two, it is pretty. But it does not look very functional to me. <laughs> well, that's that's another thing to talk. I mean, first of all, the price is the big big issue here. It's an eight hundred dollar watch, so you got to be a you got to almost be a watch collector, you know, if you're looking at this, or a hardcore retro collector if you're looking at putting this on your wrist, you know. Because you, I mean, who are you really flexing this in front of? You know, you, you got to go to gaming conventions to flex this for somebody to give a shit because the women ain't going to look at this and think it's fly. So, you know, I mean, if you're flexing this, you're really like, you got deep pockets, pause, and, uh, <laughs> you know, and you, uh, you know, but I, I, I'm not going to lie. I think it's dope. I just think the price doesn't warrant how dope it looks, you know. But oh, when you were talking about, uh, I, I don't know. I think you said how functional it was. Like, I think it's actually you. You gotta like wind this one, this one up too. Like, I don't think it's it runs on a battery. Like, I think it's like all mechanical or something. I I think I did see a breakdown of like the different gears on the inside, and you had to, to wind it up and everything. So it's like an old school freaking yeah. luxury watch. But. And I think that's the reason why they drive the price up so high because it is mechanical. And once you wind it up, you don't ever have to do it again. Um, no, you do. It's like every I mean, week or something like that. You got to oh, really, it. yeah, dude, come on. No, <laughs> yeah, so, so like you got to work just to keep the time on time, you know. Oh. So it's, it's pretty wild, you know. But, but I imagine, you know, you're only going to wear it, like, say, like I said, at a gaming convention for the weekend. Okay, you wind it up, you're good for the weekend, you know. But then you put it back in its box, you know. But I don't, you know, I'm not a watch guy like that for real. Like, I, yeah. I got a digital clock in here, like, I, you know, so. You know, if you're a watch guy, this might be for you. If you're a hardcore Sega fan, this might be for you at the price. It, I, I just don't see them selling a lot of these, but maybe I'm wrong. Especially in this day and age, man, where it's all about smart watches and smartphones and everything. Right, right, I, right. I, I love the the serious look of it and the nostalgia. Of it drives to your freaking face like it is a freaking set piece. And something that you will be looking at, and other people who knows what that is, they're gonna be looking at it and be like, damn, bro, you got a second Genesis on your wrist. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, yeah. I'm I'm the type of guy where I will buy a knockoff Samsung smartwatch off of Amazon for 18, 22 bucks, and it'll have all the functionality that your 400 500 dollar Samsung watch has. Yeah, right, right. It just it just the menus just don't look as pretty, you know. Right, right. You're <laughs> but it has that functionality, whatever. you know. Right. So I I I love I love the way it looks. But I I don't I don't agree with its price tag and I don't agree with how would how the you, thing functions, man. Would you would you buy it for a hundred dollars? Hundred bucks, sure. Would you would you buy it for a hundred and fifty dollars? No, no, ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety nine. As far as I'll go, he said the price is right at ninety nine dollars, y'all. Let us know what you think in the chat. What would you pay for this watch? Yeah, what would hundred dollars is pay? crazy? What would you hundred dollars is crazy? <laughs> I don't know, oh. man. Percy, thank thank you uh for checking out that uh room tour, man. I thank you. Yeah, dozen, where's your room tour at? Yeah, that's that's one of his most popular videos, too. I noticed too. Like people like them arcade people tours. Love to see what you got. I peep they... game, bro. I peep game. <laughs> but uh, uh I haven't done one just uh no, nah, I haven't done one. Um just cause like I don't know, bro. I'm weird. Like I keep thinking like I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my shit right to where I can do one, and then I'm like, oh, I gotta do this too, and I gotta add this, and I gotta, you know, I gotta mod this party cave, and wait till I get my pinball, you know, <laughs> like, and it just ends up being later and later and later. So no, I I've, I've never done a, a a room tour, you know. So it'll happen eventually. The great news about a the great thing about a room tour is you're never fully satisfied and you're never fully done with you know adding things to it or changing things around. Like uh tell me everybody in chat, how often do you rearrange your cabinets in your room? Or if you have multiple cabinets, say like seven or eight, ten, fifteen, how often do you rearrange them? I mean, I, I personally, I don't often, you know, I have a little bit just recently to make room for pinball, but I try not to, man. I try not to. I hate moving my caps, bro. I hate it. Even though they're light, you know, these are three-quarter scale, they're lighter cabinets, but some of them are heavy, like the XL cabs are heavy, you know. Even, even you know, T2, bro, that, that cab's yeah, a monster. T, T2's heavy. <laughs> you know. And then you're just a single person, you know, like me, I'm by myself moving them. So they can, it can get tough. You get, you move six, seven of these around in a day. You'll be sweating, bro. <laughs> um, Back to the watch real quick. And I'm glad some people agree with me. Retro lizard, hundred dollars. I'm game. Marine 50, hundred dollars is perfect. Yeah. 800 is crazy. Yeah. Uh, MG says it better play uh mini mega drive games for 800 bucks. Right, um, HDMI output. <laughs> Jason says no more than 80. It should come with the whole library built into the watch. Oh, HDMI yeah. HDMI output. You know, I need a mini I need a mini projector so I can actually wire, play wireless play. controller, wireless uh you know, <laughs> 8 bit duo controllers or whatever. 8 bit though. And then back on the topic of how often do you move your cabinets? Uh, retro once says year. once a year, Jason Leland, 12 to six months, stock jock, once a year. Uh, <laughs> can your fridge every time I win one or buy one? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I like to rearrange, like, I got my four players right next to me, like, I'm touching my NBA jammer or my. NFL blitz right now. Uh, I got my four player cabinets back to back on an island by itself because that's just the easiest way I can actually have room in here. And then I got all my other cabinets lined up. I also have some around the corner lined up on that side and trying to get some more lined up this way. I need to figure out where I'm going to put this 4KP. So I'm probably going to have to rearrange my room again. So I might do another freaking room tour or whatever when I get that sucker. That's why I put Fast and Furious over here. It used to be right next to me, like right off cam here, but I had to make room for it. So I got that out the way. I'm ready. 
I got my uh, control panel scanned. I'm ready. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm ready to pull the trigger on my pre-order. Stock Doc, you're absolutely right. Um, she loves it when I rearrange things. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Man, uh, T- TMI, TMI. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's good to good to see that. Um, yeah, we just want to show this off. It's retro, but you know, yeah, it might be some high rollers out there watching the shows. Like, it's nothing. I'm buying five of them. I'm gonna put a joust cab next to my favorite cab, so I can play next to. <laughs> You should do that, MG. I thought you were selling all your stuff. Though, that's so, that's so dope. Y'all could play uh, Joust online together. Though. Yeah, you know that's dope. I need to hook up with some other people that are on there um, that are playing right now, and just because I never played like two player Joust before. Oh, it's fun. That's it, bro. It's that's when the game gets fun. <laughs> See, I gotta do that. Sure. Um, yeah, Mark High Hearts, uh, once you add a second uh, four-player cab, the island seems like the way to go. Yeah, put them back-to-back, back, and then you can also fit a third one in between them. Um, that's the way I had my NBA Jam before I turned it down to a two-player. Now now it sits in between uh, Simpsons and NFL Blitz back-to-back. Back. It sits right in between. No problem. No, I can push it all the way back. That's plenty of room. So... Uh, Next, real quick, we're going to move on to the uh, next topic, which happens to be our meat and potatoes. Yeah. So, yeah, this is this is an interesting topic. I think uh, the community is going to like this, but you I'm know, gonna... it might not it, it might not be the news they want to hear, but it's it's still an interesting topic for us to bring up because sometimes you know we can motivate people to get it together. You know. Uh, this art right here is obviously inspired by Escape Pod. You know, they do some dope side art, you know. That's where uh, I got my open ice uh, stuff from. Yeah, yeah. You dealt with them personally, so, you know, you can vouch for them. They do fire side art, and they did a killer job on this WrestleFest side art. But, you know, this is this is just, this is really to inspire Arcade One Up. You know, uh, Technos put out a killer wrestling game back in the day a lot of people might not be aware of a lot of people should be aware of if they're watching this show in our demographic you know uh this was this was the sequel sequel to wwf wrestling superstars you know uh but yeah um news came out that this was being released to the analog pocket which a lot of people in our community own you know the analog pocket is basically a portable device you know and it plays almost everything, you name it. You know, it can play Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, all the way down the line, you know. So, uh, but it also plays arcade games, you know. So, if you want to flip to our next slide, we could uh, talk to them about who, who who put this together, you know, the, the re-release of WrestleFest, you know, to the retro community. Yeah, that would be, uh, well, we'll go Pramod, Pramod? Yeah, or, or 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 pray mod, or you know what I mean. However he however he pronounced it, I really can't tell you. Uh, but yeah, he was the he was the one that put the work in. You know to you know it, I I would say this is almost equivalent in our community to like a team encoder kind of thing, where you know uh, or or a misdirection kind of thing, where this dude put the work in. Um, if you uh, if you're interested in getting this. Uh, getting this game basically uh you could you could read up on this in the link and he's got you know a long history that he listed you know he had with this game his personal experience you know growing up on this game i know i grew up on this game it was a big deal to me you know um but you know he explains like the troubles he went through also you know the troubleshooting and uh uh, highs and lows uh him trying to emulate this game and he said you know he, he really doesn't try to like shoot for just any game it's really got to be a game that you know is nostalgic to him and uh it, it's also you know it's also a ROM you know and uh it's a ROM he owns you know what I mean it's in his personal library so he was able to actually he, he if if you read up on it 
he was saying like how, you know, and I, I can't put it as eloquently as he did, you know, or speak as good as he did, but he basically was saying that uh, there's, if you play this game on MAME, there, there's actually some bugs in it that don't exist in the actual arcade ROM that he was able to compare and contrast with MAME and with the real ROM and able to fix in the process of putting this out, you know, which really? is fire. Yeah, yeah. So he, he, he was able he was able to really get this like on point with the arcade ROM. Hmm. Yeah. I had no idea that it went that deep. Um, I have a personal like, like, like this guy here that did, did this for the analog pocket. I have a huge personal relationship with this game as well. Um, I played it in a real arcade, and I remember like that arcade was going out of business, and they were selling every single cabinet that they had in there. So they had stickers on the marquees of all the cabinets. And WrestleFest, I really wanted it, and I took my dad in there. I was probably like. 11 years old or something like that but i took my dad in there i was like dad i want this wrestlefest cabinet so bad you know i think it was like 800 bucks at the time is what they were selling it for um which seemed huge amount but you know considering nowadays you know that's pretty much what use good you know good you know shaped arcades you know like good good condition they'll go for at least 800 or more um at auctions and stuff like that so I I I remember when they were trying to sell it, and I was trying to convince him. He's like, "Nah, can't do it. It's just too much money and all that." And I, I told you, I understand, you know, where he's coming from. Now I'm a, as an adult and everything. As a kid, I didn't care. But yeah, so, this this was a big deal, bro. We you know playing this in the arcade, bro. Like like because you would play this in the arcade and then go home and play the NES wrestling games, which were terrible by comparison. Yeah. You yeah. know, so you always wanted this. At, that's why you wanted this at home. So because the sprites were so big, the characters were so big. They look like the real wrestlers. They had their real finishing moves. You know, they had cage matches, Rumble Royal. You know, it had all these different features and it had all the biggest stars at the time that were out, you know, yeah, and tag tag team mode. And you could go all the way up to all the way up against Legion of Doom. Like it was crazy, bro. Like different modes you know you could go for the belt or the tag team title you know like it was crazy yeah um and like like i said it's, it's to me this is one of my favorite games ever and yeah. and in the arcade and everything but um it's, it's i it's this is also like one of the anytime i added like a raspberry pi or a emulation handheld or something like that this game had to be on there um my nhl 2 open ice even though i have it booting straight into nhl i can get out of that menu i can go play wrestlefest like to yeah. me, that had to be on there um no matter what no matter what like mod i ever do or any kind of emulation or whatever it's that that game's got to be on there um that's just how much it means to me now real quick uh rk one up or john d always said and and other uh youtubers always said about rk one up why couldn't they why couldn't they bring this out to rk one up platform and one of the reasons why is because um two characters that are in that game uh, the tag team is called Demolition. It was uh, Ax Axel and Smash. Axe and Smash. Yeah, Axe and Smash. Um, could not there because of licensing of uh, their of their likeness. They couldn't be in the game or couldn't be in a you know new product, even though it's, you know it's an old ROM. Um, so that's one reason why rk one yeah. like no, this is never gonna happen <clears throat> yeah so with that said licensing issues basically are what's holding this up from rk one up right you know putting it out there that's that's the big con right but with that said come on who does adam Retromania, which is a sequel basically to WrestleFest, um, 
I arcade, you know, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, whatever console you can think of. They recently just announced that they are adding Axon Smash to it. Yeah. Yeah. So they got their likeness, no problem. And this but that, is this that's is just not game. that's not made that's not a licensed by the WWE or Technos, right? That's that's a whole separate yeah, yeah. And developer. So that's another that's argument I was gonna come up with is that it's kind of like Retromania is like rubbing this in faces yeah. and saying, y'all may y'all will never get demolition in a wrestle fest like a re-release of wrestle fest or anything like that or in a wwe game period we got them you know you know if you want to play as these guys it's not even really about playing as those guys it's just that we want we want wrestle fest man wrestle uh retro mania is cool and all and i'm glad that they got axe and smash in it but it's to me it's not the same it doesn't play the same it is like it is like a spiritual uh you know I feel like uh, money, money talks, you know, and Vince McMahon won't forever, you know, he's already kind of stepped down quite a bit. So I think we could see this in the future, you know, but near future, probably not, you know, just based on all the licensing issues, you know, a lot of, a lot of those uh, people retain the rights to their personal names and stuff like that, you know, after they left. And then, and then you got the obvious issue with uh, the WWE is no longer the WWF. So I, I don't know that they the WWE would want that old branding on the side of the cabs or on, you know, any of the actual in-game graphics. So, so I think I think that's the biggest issue. Believe it or not, I feel like. You know, I feel like the WWE could come up with enough money to pay off Axe or Smash, you know. But I think the main issue is, you know, they don't want that WWF branding really, like, re-released on a, you know, on a Walmart's Best Buy scale where it's everywhere. And I, But I don't think it's a bad thing. I think this whole retro thing is what's up, you know. I think... I think that's that's the move. Like even if they put a little WWE at the top of the WWF, you know, or whatever, you know, the logo. Like for me, it wouldn't bother me, bro. You know what I mean? Like so, I I think they really need to just figure it out. But if they do do this cab, they definitely need to have uh, WWF superstars included on it too. So you got both games because I actually like both games. Some people forget the first game was awesome too. Yeah, Superstars was great. Yeah, going against Andre the Giant, you know, that was that was a big deal, you know. God, I love those cutscenes and everything. It looks so cool. So I didn't know this. Uh, Road Warrior Animal's brother is John Laurinaitis, who is a co-defendant in sex trafficking lawsuit brought against Vince McMahon and WWE. So there, there's that, too. Yeah. Um, I so wait, wait. Road Warrior Animal's brother? Yeah, but that's like that's like extended family, you know, that's family issues. I don't know if that applies to animal himself, right? No, and I don't know if most people would even know that. Um, yeah. just suck, um what's up, corner cade? We've been gone, it's almost over. <laughs> yeah, um, so there you go, man. Glad we brought some news out to you about uh, Retromania, yeah. Yeah, but y'all can click the link in my description. If you got an analog pocket, you can go download that right now, you know, and add that to your analog pocket. You know, but uh, definitely we 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 want RK one up to hear us loud and clear. We want that game, you know, and they and they made you know they made some little changes to Blitz. You know, they've added RK one up logos in game in Blitz on the sidelines. So, you know, it's not out of the realm of possibility of changing that WWF logo to a WWE logo in the center of the ring and, you know, making some little sprite changes here and there and re-releasing the game in a remastered format, you know? Yeah. It'd be pricey and that's not that I just feel like they're not in that space no more, but it'd be worth it. You know, it'd be, it'd be, if they do one more big cab for the community, like I think this could be one of them, you know, where, you're you're appealing to 80s fans and 90s fans of arcades in this space you know 
where some cabs are just 80s cabs, some cabs are just 90s. This one appeals to both audiences. Yeah, to me, this is this is my this is and my, even modern too. Yeah, wrestling fans, you know, WrestleFest, a uh, uh, arcade one up style WrestleFest cabinet would be in my magna magnus opus of cabinets. It would be my dream. It's one of my dream cabinets. Period. Yeah, yeah, it's up there with TMNT. Like back in the day, like it was one of them ones we've always wanted. You know. TM, yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, NHL Open Ice, WrestleFest, and I would, I would even throw Daytona USA on there. I those those four. If I had those four, and then I would add like a shooter, uh, like House of Dead, sure. Um, that way I have one of each style at least. I would be, I would, I'd be done. I wouldn't re- necessarily need anything else, man. I could just yeah. take. A, I would add a multi cat multi K, you know, to it to my list yeah. so I can play everything else. You know what I think would be cool too is if they really, you know, could get a developer involved and if they did like, you know, like a uh some some crazy uh corporate three way where arcade and invo- one up was involved, uh 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 you know, an indie game developer was involved and WWE was involved and what they did was just like finance uh you know, a WrestleFest 2 or a, a modern WrestleFest or even a WrestleFest Legends where you could have Stone Cold, The Rock, you know, Shawn Michaels, people that weren't, you know, Brett the Hitman Hart, people that weren't in the old one, Undertaker, you know, Legends like that, Triple H and stuff, you know, and have, you know, a Legends, you know, like almost we had a Blitz Legends, you could have a Legends, you know, WrestleFest, the OG WrestleFest and then Superstars, three games on one cab. Yeah. You know, and then it, it, you know, then you're getting some kind of like, uh, you know how we want the, uh, you know, Revenge of Shredder, you know, on the next Turtles cab, something like that, where it's like, okay, now it's modern. It appeals to modern kids, modern WWE audiences, but it also appeals to retro audiences, you know? Yeah. As yeah, long, sure. long as they don't mess up the old games, you know, if they can keep those intact and then, you know, even make a new one, that you know, a Legends one, that'd be fire. Yeah, just don't do what they did on Xbox uh, when they made a, was it 2012 edition where they added John Cena and The Rock and Triple H. They made a new version of it, basically. Sucked ass. It was terrible. But was it sprites or was it like 3D, you know? Uh, like a mixture of both, man. It was. You know I'm saying? If they make it like Retromania kind of style, just try to try to almost one up Retromania, you know, like. Say okay, this is what y'all doing. We're gonna all right, boom. We'll get the rock and everybody involved in this one. You know, yeah. Um, Vader, to answer your question, it only requires two buttons. There was a punch button and a grapple yeah. button, I think. Yeah, that, that, I mean that's that. The only it was a two button game, like an old classic. Uh, beat them up. It was great, mm-hmm. but it was like a four player deck too. Yep, and a four player deck, and they also had a two player version. Yeah. Um. So so awesome, dude! I really wish we could get that back. Um, the cage matches were sick. Yeah, I mean, I know I know this picture right here doesn't have any buttons or joysticks, but that's how the cab looked. That yeah. side art, the side that art, be- the that bezel was fire on that cab. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, if anybody's interested in reskinning uh, uh, their cabinet into like a wrestle fest, skate pod is the way to go. Number one. Uh, this 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 design looks good. Number two, they have a ten dollars off for every hundred dollars you spend or whatever on their on their uh, packages. It's a great deal. Um, this this is this is one of my holy grails, man. And if I hadn't have done if I hadn't have done my NHL Open Ice Cab uh, reskin, I would have done WrestleFest for sure. Uh, another thing I wanted to add was uh, when uh, Dude was doing, uh, uh, he w- he was basically doing a uh, port for the analog pocket for this game. He was he he definitely gave a lot of praise to Technos for what they did in that time space mm-hmm. for the minimal amount of uh, the color palette was really low on that, you know, on, on what they were working with and everything. And he said when he got a chance to really dig in that that arcade rhyme he really and you know and that's how he found out mame had a couple little graphical errors and stuff like that was just 
you know, by like breaking apart the, the layers of the onion, so to speak, you know, of uh, that ROM and just seeing how Technos, you know, just, were, you know, they were kind of a technical marvel with that game. You know, they really were ahead of their time. Like that game, that game, you know, that game's pretty old, bro. And it's still, and it's still fire. It still looks good. Yeah. Um, and Mike Hawk Hurts, as well as uh, Doug Wynn, both agree with both of y'all uh, when it comes to that uh, WWE logo. Um, the WWE Legends logo is what they put over old old footage uh, with that little logo in the bottom right corner. Um, that new logo, they could use that easy and cover it up, man. Like You can stay out of trouble with the world wildlife foundation foundation or whatever it is mm -hmm. um you can stay out of trouble with them easy and just and just paste that over man do it like a legends cab nfl blitz style but yeah but in the, in the game that definitely takes that that's going to take some coding changes you know so you know the characters weren't over that mat and all that so you know that's 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 definitely there's some work involved to do that but i don't think it's out of the realm of you know it's 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 not impossible, but it is improbable. But man, I, I just really wish the WWE would listen to their fans and and drop one of these cabs, bro. It's the perfect. It'd be the perfect sports cab to add to Blitz, to NBA Jam, you know, even even your Golden T lineup, you know, like perfect. Have some have some wrestling in there, some sports entertainment, you know. So yeah, let me show you this real quick, half dozen, since you don't know about they re-released half uh WrestleFest before. So Oh, that looks terrible. Yeah. They put no That looks like a that looks like a Game Boy Advance game. Yeah. It's what was bad. this for? Introducing the challenger. What was this for? What console? Xbox three sixty. Oh, this looks terrible. You can yeah. shut this off. I don't even want to watch this. Yeah, this is god awful, dude. It's CM upsetting. Punk? Come on, man. Yeah, I don't care if they had some modern wrestlers or something like that. That'd be even cool because that would give RK one up a uh a, a, a window to bring out DLC, you know. But but I would like the sprites to look like the old school game. Yeah, you know, it don't need it. That looks weird. Like even yeah, how the that, character, you know, that yeah. just. It much. looks like a Game Boy Advance game that was on a low, 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 low budget. Yeah, that looked like a Game Boy Advance game for real. Uh, Vader, two buttons, two buttons two. and a, and an eight way joystick. That's all you needed. Mm. But yeah, um, guys, yeah, uh, Jason's got a link in the bottom. I was going to mention it later in the show, but yeah, if you're not part of any kind of Discord, join the Arcades Anonymous Discord great place to be man love to hang out that's where me and half a dozen met as well as several people it. in the community man it's right there you can't miss it yeah so all you people down that are new new in chat and everything you want somewhere cool to hang out talk to us and get some mining ideas uh share share your arcade room stuff like that man this, that's the place to be man it's our kids and honest dude yeah. and if you make a uh, youtube content share that too yeah please by all means um, they can use Superstars, WrestleFest, and WrestleMania arcade game. Oh, I'm so glad you said that, Retro Lizard, because a lot of people sleep on that. But that's a Midway title, see? So they would have to get Technos and Midway. You know, that's that's a huge hurdle, but I, I would love, bro, I love that game, you know, because that love was that like, game, too. That, yeah, that's, that's also on my NHL Open Ice Cab. A lot of people don't like it because it's, it's it don't really like it don't have the same wrestling, but it's got the arcadey kind of Mortal Kombat kind of you know, but car cartoony you know, like Looney Tunes almost. Like you got Doink pulling out hammers and you know, uh, Bam Bam Bigelow's head on fire, you know, throwing headbutts. Like it gets wild, you know. Undertaker pulling out a big old tombstone, like it gets wild, bro. But I love that game, bro. And I, I really love that game because it was in, it was in that weird window of them midway digitizing actual actors and they got the real superstars for that. So that was really fire, bro. But 
Yeah. 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 That that would be the perfect trilogy to be real. Like would be superstars, you know, uh WrestleFest and obviously, you know, R- R- WrestleMania, I believe that one was the last one. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that WrestleFest was done by THQ. It was terrible. Um and you got Razor Ramon in that other one too. Yeah, yeah. Uh Doink the Clown, Yokozuna, Lex Luger. <laughs> uh Bam 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 and uh Bret oh, Hart, Bam, Michaels, Bam. Undertaker. Um mm. that's one of my favorite games, and the only reason they didn't do fatalities in that is because they ran out of time. Undertaker's the only one that's got a fatality in that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that game's got an interesting history, regardless, you know, because even even the the line of like doing the clown being in it, it's kind of like really. <laughs> like out of all the wrestlers, not to take nothing from Doink, you know, but you know, it's just yeah. wild. Yeah. And then, they, and then, if you remember, they did a uh, they did a PlayStation sequel to the there arcade game in your house. Yeah, there so it is. right as right as I'm saying it. Yeah, and that had different people in it, you know. So that's that's crazy, bro. Like, I, yeah, yeah, you know. I, even even to throw in your house on there as a bonus game, like they did Battletoads, you know, the uh, the console games, or they did some of the console games on the Marvel cabs. Like, we don't want them, but if you're gonna add bonus games, make them make them fit the cab, you know, and it, it in your house, you know, why not? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 with the theming. Put it with the theming. It has to do with the same subject matter and the gameplay style and everything. Let it same go, developer, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, but but te- Technos and Midway would be a little hurt over there. But I feel I, I feel like man, it could happen, man. I really wish a shop hippo dude or somebody with deep pockets would come through and be like, yeah. You know, that's the cab I want. I want a WrestleFest cab. Let's make it, you know, somebody friends with Vince, you know? <laughs> yeah. Somebody friends with Triple H, whoever's running WWE right now. Somebody's got to be out there to set it up. <laughs> I, I, I just can't believe there ain't, like, some diehard wrestling fan that, that made that happen yet. It'd be nice, dude. Uh, you know, and and I never got a console release that game either. Like it's just crazy, bro. It was never on Super Nintendo, which Genesis, one? WrestleFest. It never came to oh, any yeah, console. WrestleFest, yeah, like it just never. It's crazy that it uh, never translated to console anywhere. I it'd be really cool if like Evercade grabbed it and put it on a you know a Taito um, or whatever Techno. Sorry, Technos. Like a cartridge for them. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. Like, if I want art licensing issues, yeah, I don't know. Is is that a licensing issue? If Bret Hart is in, I don't know. Like, uh, I mean, I, I feel hard. like some stuff, some stuff pays homage to these people, it keeps their spirit alive, and you know, it's not always a bad thing. It's how you look at it, you know, like. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe his his estate feels better. Wouldn't yeah, him. and that's that's the whole reason why Owen Hart's not in the uh, WWE uh, Hall of Fame yet is because uh, Owen Hart's wife, you know, she owns his estate and everything. She doesn't like the way they handled his death and everything. Yeah. yeah. Um. And so there's a, there's a lot of issues with the Hart family in the WWE. Yeah. So she's still be they're they're still beefing with that. Um, it's weird though because in the AEW game, Owen Hart's in that. Uh, the recent AEW uh, uh, wrestling game, he's in that. So it's crazy. Are they owned by WWE? No. Well, that's why. You yeah. know, he's willing to work anywhere outside of them. He just don't mess with Vince's whole company. It's a shame though because the fans lose out. You know, on these on these like uh. You know, in these fantasy realms, as far as gaming goes, pause, you know, like, you know, being able to have these fantasy matchups with, you know, Owen and Brett versus whoever, you know. Yeah. Technos home cartridge. That's it. I can talk about wrestling forever, guys. I'm going to have to, we're going to have to move on. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's go. Let's get to the last last thing, bro. Yeah. So the last thing, guys, is going to be what I, what we love to do every every week that we can. Um, that's going to be the community mod. Now this thing is freaking dope. I was uh half half dozen showed me this earlier uh in the broadcast or uh, before we started in backstage before we broadcast and everything. Check this out. This guy took a killer K-I- bro. Yeah, K I one and two, but we're showcasing the two. And uh yeah. You go ahead, you can keep going. My bad. I was just gonna say that he he spent the money on a KI Pro, <laughs> extended as KI two, mm-hmm. but also has a second KI Pro, and reskinned it to look more like the real KI one. Yeah, so he has two pros, KI one and KI two, right next to each other. And there's only five hundred of these in the world. He took two of them. You know, five hundred, I think, in the world. I know I got one of them. He's got two of them right here. But yeah, he re- he reskinned the uh, the front panel, the side panels, the control deck. You know, the uh, the side panels on the control deck. The he redid the marquee, everything. You know, the theming up Ki too, bro. So Doug Wynn is saying that um, oh Yuvia uh, does some great work. His MK cabs are fire. So this is somebody that's like really deep into the community. Yeah, he does. He does a bunch of mines, bro. He does them so fast, like we can't show. We can't have enough shows to showcase them. That's I'll go in the group, bro, and he's got a new one. You know, two, one or two new ones, like seem like every week. That's so awesome, dude. And then uh, Doug, if you ever want to, man, email me. Um, at vrobinson629 at gmail.com or share it on Facebook in the uh, Arcade 1UP group or something like that. Um, show if you want to share your mod project whenever it's finished. Check it out. We'll we'll throw it on the channel, dude. We'll throw it on the show uh, Community Spotlight, especially if this guy right here is helping you out. That yeah, is, well. this is dope. And do you, uh, where, do you, where do you get the side art from? Um uh repo uh repo arcade uh i was actually going to do work with them um off of uh they had a wwf wrestlemania from midway they had a skin for the gen 3 cabs uh for arcade one up it looked perfect it looked like the real thing and i was gonna skin my cabinet that with them and they were the only company that had the wwf midway midway uh WrestleMania, uh, side art, the control panel, the whole package. Yeah, and um, he, did, he did a Sabo marquee on this too, right? Yeah, this was a Sabo marquee, which that's hands down is the only way to go. Yeah, I mean... Other, I, other I, than I, disability. Disability is also very, very good, but Sabo's... Yeah, yeah, I heard Retro 530 got some decent uh, marquees too, but I, I personally, yeah, I bought from Disability... And but Sabo is really my go to, yeah. Oh, yeah, God. Bro. so good. I know, like, it's, it's almost like a, you know, looking at this, I'm like, which which cab is prettier, KI one or two, bro? Because they're both clean calves. I even told myself, I was like, if I won that KI, KI cab off of uh Rascals show last week or earlier this week, if I had won that KI cab instead, instead of Gamer Fridge. I was gonna reskin it as Ki two. Yeah, Ki two is fire, bro. Yeah, I love, I love that. I love that he loves Ki enough to buy two Pro Series cabs and and reskin both of them to be arcade accurate. You know, in his eyes, yeah, fire. And yeah. he definitely loves yeah. the Pro Series cab like I do. That's so good. Um, yeah. And Doug uh, saying, I definitely will be sharing when done right now. Just getting the stuff. Just needed to find a Blitz cab at the moment. Uh, I f- there's a bunch of them on Marketplace. I mean, I at least found some. So. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't know after the whole Ollie thing. They might be hard to find nowadays. Yeah. Especially at a decent price other than $4.99. Like at uh, what Walmart, Best Buy, and at places like that. Uh, Wayfair. 
That's four ninety nine as cheap as I can find other than marketplace. I've seen some for like three hundred. Um, save us, yeah, that's that should be everybody's go to. Um, it wouldn't be the first time uh, RK went up printing new graphics over original art. The countercades uh, from Gen One and Two were notorious for being double scanned. Um, and if RK went up did a short batch uh, of Ki Two reskins for the Pro series that they haven't been able to finish off moving, that they still have for sale. Uh, it's been a good way to do it. I mean, if you want to do rehashes, this is another rehash you could have done, man. I argue you don't mess with that. You know, I love my KI Pro. <laughs> Leave them the way they are, you know, because eventually they'll sell, bro. I think, you know, I think they'll sell, but I, I guess I guess you could reskin them and try to resell them, but that's a lot of unassembling of packages, a lot of a lot of labor involved, you know, which costs money. So they might. I'd see them. I could see them lower in the price before they do that. Yeah, man. I there's, there's, I showed you before. I think I even showed it on the our KI show or our ten, top ten. There's a guy local, not local to me, six hours away. He has a KI Pro. He's trying to sell. It's already fully upgraded. It's got some Joe Sabos uh, upgraded uh, marquee and everything. Yeah, you show me. Yeah, and he's he dropped the price down to six hundred now. Mm-hmm. It was eight, it was eight hundred. But six hundred, and I was like, "Man, six hours away. It's almost worth doing." But I, I, I'm not. You should have, trigger. Yeah, if you do that, have him send you some videos of it so you can see it. You know, before you even take the trip. Well, I was like, I told myself, I was like, with the four KP coming, I can't do it, man. I gotta pay. For, I gotta pay for that sucker. So. Yeah, that's the thing. You gotta pick and choose. That's why, I like. uh Past few weeks, I ain't. I really ain't bought nothing. I've been waiting, been waiting, because yeah. I know, I know it's it's, t- it's time to uh, make my complete my purchase tomorrow. Yeah, me too, man. Oh, finally! Oh man, I can't wait. I see you, motherfuckers, on the leaderboards. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be way at the bottom, but you see me. So everybody, like Jason the Little Alien did for me earlier in the chat, um, for all you new people that are here, our kids Anonymous, it's where me and Half Dozen met, as well as several people in this chat room, uh, in the chat real quick uh, for this live stream, where we met. Our kids Anonymous, great, great Discord, man. Uh, no drama, no issues. Everybody gets along. Everybody loves each other, man, helps each other out. It's a great community to join. So feel free hit that link join up in our discord man hang out with us um i also want to shout out to uh our kids anonymous again their when their wednesday night show i'm actually one of the hosts on there uh as uh, along with gamer fridge nerd lounge master uh 84 multi kate matt gi joel um we all do a weekly show on wednesday uh, it's like our AA meeting is what we call it. And we talk about modding in the community, uh, as well as, uh, nostalgia things that are from our past, uh, don't really cover, uh, new news really, unless it's something that really interests the, uh, community, but, um, it's a great hangout, man. And we're trying to get the subscriber count up to 500, uh, there, and we're at halfway there. So guys. You know, if y'all want to watch another weekly show kind of like this, hit us up on Wednesday for uh, Arcades and Novice. Subscribe to that channel and everything. That's basically it up. it's Run basically it up. The, <laughs> the 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 mother channel, you know, and you know all this other stuffs like spinoffs and everything. So this is what basically this is what came you know was born out of that as me and half a dozen did our own thing here on Yo Retro. So guys. Join that channel, subscribe to that channel, subscribe to Chaotic BPR, me personally, as well as half a dozen channels. Uh, 4K pinball uh, content coming soon from both of us when they get here. Other than that, um, half a dozen did a uh, KI Pro uh, review, Fast and the Furious review. The man's got fire ass reviews and fire ass videos on his channel. Subscribe to my man, half a dozen. Uh, subscribe to me. I did a retro shooter uh, upgrade to my T2. 
brought so much life into that cab. That's one of my wife's favorite cabs now. She loves playing duck hunt on it. Um, so you can watch the uh, installation video on my channel as well as more content coming from me as well. But guys, make sure you subscribe to both of our channels. That way you'll never miss one of our Sunday live streams on Yo Retro, whether you watch it on his channel or my channel. We co-stream it to make sure we reach everybody that can come. Yeah, we appreciate y'all coming, checking us out every Sunday. Galaga Guy, I'm so sorry. Yes, you are part of the weekly show as well. I'm so sorry, dude. Galaga Guy is our newest member that joins us on our weekly show on Arcades and Honest. You have not been kicked out of the group, man. It's just that you're so new to our group that I forgot to throw you in there, dude. That's why I was counting on my fingers. I was like, I feel like I'm missing somebody, but I need to continue talking. So I'm sorry, Galaga Guy. Galaga Guy is on there as well, guys. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Pride. i feel terrible man my bad dude but everybody y'all have a great night god bless and i'll see y'all we'll see y'all on the next week's yo retro yeah yo 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 Yo, welcome to Yo.